Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been like the longest time ever since I made a video, but I thought Valentine's Day? Why not make a video for that? Yay! So I don't know what you, how you guys feel about Valentine's Day, but I am so like not even into it. I don't like Valentine's Day. I think it's really, really, really cheesy and lame and over hyped, like totally. But since I think it's so corny and really cheesy, we decided to roll with that theme. So we're gonna have a cheesy Valentine's Day. We're going to order extra, extra cheese pizza, which is my favorite. <laughs> And then we're going to watch extra cheesy movies, like cheesy romantic movies. So even though it's not like anything super big, we're just going to stay in and eat like a whole pizza to ourselves with extra, extra cheese. I can't wait. It's still going to be fun because at least I get to be with him and, you know, it's just sort of, we're celebrating um, Valentine's Day in our own little stupid way, so. This video is basically just a quick little thing. I'm going to show you how to take a daytime look for Valentine's Day and bring it into a nighttime look. Alright guys, we're going to jump into the tutorial now, so let me know in the comments below if any questions come up and I'll be able to answer them for you. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and especially a great Valentine's Day. Alright, get those eyelids primed because you don't want no creasy shadow when you're on a date, do you? So I'm using this really soft pale baby pink color and I'm placing it right into my crease with a really nice fluffy brush. Then I'm taking this awesome shimmer color. It sort of has a little bit of gold, a little bit of pink. That's going to go basically over my entire lid. And I'm taking a matte gray shadow and that's going right on the outer third and I just blend it softly right into the upper crease. For my brow highlight I just use like a matte yellow shade. Now for eyeliner, I'm taking a matte gray pencil and just sort of placing a line right on my upper lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect because I go in with a pencil brush and I smudge that baby out. Make sure you're filling in your eyebrows and grooming them because that's just going to give your face a nice shape. Don't forget to curl those lashes. And apply a bunch of mascara because that makes your eyes pop, pop, pop. Alright, when applying the primer, it's crucial to get all around the entire face because it sort of acts like a double stick tape. The primer is going to stick to your face and the makeup is going to stick to your primer. So if you have a primer, it's going to last longer. And then go ahead and apply your foundation, whatever one that you're using. And I just use a concealer, a cream concealer underneath my eyes to cover up any color and just a powder foundation on top of that. For contour, I'm using again a powder. It's sort of like a bronzer, just no shimmer. And make sure that you blend this because you do not want harsh lines on your contour. That looks silly. All right, for blush, I'm just using like a nice pink tone. And I'm actually using a powder highlight. It's a yellow color, so it helps brighten up all those areas where I apply it. So for a shimmer highlight, I actually am using a cream on top of my powders, which is a little risky, but I just use my finger and that's going to help blend it out. Then I take my blush brush and just make sure that any harsh lines are blended out nicely. For lips, I'm using a pale pink lip liner. I'm going to line and then fill in the entire lip. I'm using a matching shade of lipstick to give that nice pouty pink look. Throw on some gloss and pucker up, baby. Mwah. Now you're all set to go mini golfing or whatever you do on a day date on Valentine's Day. I don't know.
All right, guys, you ready to change this face into nighttime? First, you gotta wipe off that lipstick. And I definitely recommend, especially if you're changing from day to night, to use a moisturizer on your lips. Come here, come here, a little bit closer. I know this look is cute, but we're gonna change it. All right, I'm packing on a silver eyeshadow all across my entire lid. Just like that. Pack it, pack it, pack it, yeah. All right, now I'm taking a blue eyeshadow, I know it's a little vibrant, on a stiffer, fluffy brush and placing it right where you see it, right in the crease, a little bit in the crease and then in the inner crease, I guess that's what you would call it. Then I'm taking a clean, fluffy brush and just sort of blending it out a little bit so it's not as crazy vibrant or no harsh lines. Now I'm putting a gray over the blue. The reason I put the blue is because I feel like gray turns out a little bit flat on the eye sometimes. So by adding the blue first, I feel like it just gives it a little bit more dimension, a little more, it makes it stand out a little bit more. So I put a gray and now I'm putting a really, really soft black. So don't use like your most pigmented black, use a really, really soft black. And then just use a really fluffy, fluffy brush to blend it all over the edges. For the drop shadow, I'm using the gray tone on a pencil brush, and then I'm taking the blue color and placing that on top. Then I just take a fluffier brush and blend it back out, and taking that soft black and putting it just on the outer edge. I'm using the same matte gray pencil and putting it in my bottom waterline. Now for the liner. I like a little bit thinner line, and I'm using a cake liner. But you can use whatever liner you feel comfortable with. And of course, I always do a wing. Oh, look at that liner. Girl, so fun. Oh, and don't forget the bottom lashes. Now, I come back with false lashes on. Otherwise, this video would take 30 minutes to do. And then I just add a little bit more shadow in the inner corner. And look at that slow move. Ooh. For blush, I just deepened it up a little bit. I used a deeper sort of berry almost like a bronzy tone just to make it a little more cohesive with the look now you can't have Valentine's Day without a red lip I'm pretty sure that's in like the rule book of Valentine's Day is that every girl must wear red lip so I mean come on you guys you know I had to throw a red lip in here so make sure you're filling in your lips completely with the liner and then you're using a corresponding red lipstick. And now you're all set for your dinner date or whatever you want to do at night. I don't know. Get freaky. Have fun. Woo! Valentine!